Cougars uh, had that nice big win over over Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara last Saturday. Tough game, tough loss with Pierce here on Wednesday, and they had began their uh, conference lit game with a two-point win over Moorpark. So uh, everything else has been pretty close. Uh, this one has not been that close. No, uh, as we see the scoreboard now, it's 71-8, and they fixed it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it was uh, slightly one-sided. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, my understanding is Oxnard dropped their program. Pierce picked up a couple of D1 type players, possibly, and they seem to be. The rumor is uh, and Pierce has the best starting five in the state. Uh, they, we, they were kind of in that space where West LA dropped their program, and oh, <laughs> then Oxnard they, dropped their program, and there's kind of that team in the middle right there for them. So they have hello. a very yes. strong team. Yeah. Did the uh, Oxnard coach uh, happen to? Go he is the assistant now at Pierce. Oh, there you go. So. Uh, Follow the leader. Good. Load up. Yeah, that, this is a uh, Ventura stuff again, I'm sure. And uh, this is a very loaded conference this year. Yeah, this conference has been very strong. As we said, uh, Santa Barbara, the only one who has not been ranked in the state. Oh, that's an intentional, I yeah. think. That grabbed them. As well, there's not up. much Kenny Robinson could have done right there. That was uh, the EJJ's Thomas cruising his way to an easy dunk shot. And. Uh, Kind of stepped in the way. Good. Yeah, they did. Got the foul. It and they're going to call it an intentional foul. He got him on the ground, which is good. I'm glad he tried. didn't try to grab, wait until he's up in the air. Uh, yeah, you don't want his, that with a 23 point lead. He grabbed his jersey and held on for dear life. Yeah. Like a runaway train was passing him and he was trying to get aboard. So Thomas is going to have two. Undistracted by anybody. At the, at the, we don't have to worry about anybody in the lineup uh, saying anything hey, in this time. Uh, it's just Thomas by himself. Yes. Him and the ball. And the Him and the ball and the ball out of bounds. Yeah. So. And Thomas gets the bounce on the second. He made them both. And Bulldogs will take the ball out of bounds. That one went 9 feet 11 inches <laughs> and still slipped over. A little English on that one. Now G will inbound for the Bulldogs. Over the top to Fisher. Fisher over to Nolan. Nolan finds Thomas trying to go through the middle. High pass. Ends up in Kenny Robinson's hands. Robinson dishes it off to Carson. Carson loses it. Robinson gets it back and it gets fouled by Najee. So. Watch out. Four rebounders. Seems like any loose ball out there, you see three blue jerseys chasing it. So Robinson shooting one one. We are in the bonus, so definitely a little bit tighter on the calls. This half, uh, seventh foul on the Bulldogs. Robinson shooting 1-1. Makes his first. Well, as I mentioned at the beginning of the second quarter, it's to Quest's advantage to get this game slowed down to a walk if they can prevent Hancock from scoring. And Robinson makes it both. And the Quest Cougars have now tied with Alan Hancock. It's a halftime score. Uh, the Bulldogs have 73 points now. Uh, but had half 50 at half, and the Cougars just reached 50. Uh, here with 13.44 to go. So 73-50, Allen Hancock. Devon Nolan comes in and gets the bounce. 75-50, 25-point lead for Allen Hancock. Robinson brings the ball up, finds a wide open Jamie Landenberg. And Landenberg nails a three. And that's what they need right there. West Cougars are going to need a lot of three-pointers. They've got the shooters. Stolen by Ellis Robinson. And Ellis Robinson misses his opportunity to get his second basket of the season. Robinson's got the most speed on the team. And he's going to put a little defensive pressure. One-on-one -on -one, one -on -one defensive pressure. Uh, and if you wanted some acting, we got a little acting right there by LaRon Fisher. Foul called on, G on Gibson. Uh, his first, his second foul on Gibson. Gibson playing with intensity. But Gibson, he Gibson, gets a few minutes, he's going to get his money's worth, no doubt. He definitely does. He's got a lot of speed out there, and he's going he's to be the one-man press out there for the Cougars. So Gibson's out there right now. Landenberg and Robinson tried, tried to trap. Devon Nolan, Nolan gets through the trap, dishes it out, finds Junior Anderson on the corner. In and out. Demetrius Thomas with the putback. 
No blocking out for the Cougars right there. Thomas Walton for an easy rebound. Uh, playground 101 here a bit. Baseline! Kenny Robinson bringing it up. He dribble drives, finds a wide open Kyrie Carson. Carson is good for two. You know, this is great. As long as the ball goes in, then the, all the physical stuff doesn't happen. Carson breaks up a long pass. Still off on Kyrie Carson. Bulldogs will have the ball. Inbound right now by Anthony Trapagne. And there's Gibson using that speed. He gets in there, knocks it back out. So the Bulldogs are a little bit lazier with their passes right now. Cougars get some hands in there. Oh, another tech and we have another technical foul. It's tea time here at Costa College. <laughs> That's our. Uh, Are you stating your political party, or what are you doing here? <laughs> Holy cow! We don't. Well, do the that. game did just start just after tea time. It was five o'clock start, <laughs> and uh, I think maybe. <laughs> We don't need a clinic. We just need this game to keep moving. And uh, having officiated for years, I, I got this little edge. That it's getting physical. Some guys are playing. They haven't played a lot. And tees have their purpose. Well, ball doesn't lie right there. It's, it's, uh, the Ron Fisher misses both, but uh, it's, it remains Hancock ball. So Trapani will bring it back in. Carson... Hands behind his back, <laughs> staying way back, making sure he's not getting his second tee, yeah. which of course would mean he's out of the game. And there's we talk about the one-man press. Ellis Gibson, Gibson gets gets a steal, and now Gibson gets a rebound off a long Kenny Robinson three-pointer. Work back around. Landerberg missed badly on the three-pointer, and again Hancock off on the break. And Devon Nolan comes in. Trapania can't handle the pass. Nolan picks up the loose ball and another two points for the Bulldogs, who now call timeout. Coach Ralph Gordon. This program is produced by Cuesta Broadcasting. Start your radio, TV, and film career at Cuesta College. 